All right, Bob, thank you so much. Both Manatee and Sarasota counties offering mandatory, ordering mandatory evacuations for those living on barrier islands, low-lying areas, and mobile home parks. And in the process, that means shelters are now open as people look for a safe place to ride out the storm. ABC 7's Rick Adams joins us live from a shelter at Booker High School in Sarasota tonight with more on that. Rick? Yes, Scott, good evening. This is a very safe place to be, and a lot of folks are making the most of it. For many, it's the best way to stay out of harm's way. Hurricane evacuation shelters here on the Sun Coast are seeing large numbers of people, like Larissa and Howard Green. They live on the Sarasota Bay front and decided the shelter was the best place to be during Hurricane Irma. We had a hard time deciding to move because we would never have been involved in something like this. Very nice. I mean, the people are all so welcoming and they're so organized. Really, uh, I'm really amazed. For Terry Barnett and her daughter, they were staying at a resort on Longbow Key. They chose the shelter at Booker High School to ride out the storm. This is actually a new um, adventure for me, but it is giving me an appreciation for people who do have to go through this. The Sarasota County School District is working closely with the Red Cross to make this stressful experience as comfortable as possible for people using the shelter. Hurricane evacuees get three free meals a day, plus access to other amenities. Right now we're in the business of operating shelters, uh, so a different uh, role here in our community is making sure that everyone is safe and secure. The schools belong to our community and to have an opportunity to open up to meet their needs and ours as well, and we're all very concerned about what could could happen in the event that a hurricane exists, but we want to make sure that they're comfortable here. As of Friday, Sarasota County had four hurricane shelters open, with two more opening on Saturday for those with special needs. Manatee County has more than a dozen shelters open. Some of the shelters are pet friendly. And for a complete list of shelter locations, you can log on to our website at mysuncoast.com. Reporting live from Sarasota this evening, I'm Rick Adams. Scott, back to you.